In the modern era of pro sports, sustaining success is something special for an athlete. Doing it for the same franchise is almost unheard of, especially to the degree Jason Hansen did it in Detroit. For 21 years, he donned the Lions' Honolulu Blue, the longest tenure any NFL player has ever had for a single team. People were asking on around the draft and even on draft day, I think, um, you know, hey, where do you want to go? Where would be a cool place to go? Where would you be excited to go? And um, some point, somebody said something like, uh, where do you not want to go? And my wife, who was my fiance then, I remember she was part of the conversation. She said, well, I don't want to go to Detroit or Miami. <laughs> Detroit, we didn't know much about. It was in the Midwest and we knew they did cars, but they weren't on the radar. And so I always joke, I don't know if it's a joke. If you don't think God has a sense of humor, he's like, oh, you don't want to go there? How about if you go there for, you know, three different decades, 21 years. Of all the things that happened in a playing career, to be in one place is pretty special. Hansen's road to the Motor City started in North Spokane. A soccer player as a kid, he was pressured by his peers to try football as a 10th grader at Mead High School. There was a time like they were challenging my manhood, right, playing soccer and not football, and you know, you want to be tough, you're going to play football. Anyway. Well, high school out west, uh, boys soccer is in the spring, football's in the fall. Two separate seasons, my fall was free, so I was like, okay, I'll go give it a try, and showed up at the first meeting, and they're writing plays on the board, and I was like, I have no idea what they're doing, I think I'm just going to kick. That was the perfect choice, a punter and a kicker for the Panthers. He was an All-State selection and a 4.0 student. His skills drew interest from schools around the West, but it was Pullman where he eventually planted his now famous right foot. And so I went down to Washington State as kind of a walk-on, but did well enough that they gambled on me and said, well, let's go with them the first game and just kept going. Over the next four seasons, Hanson became the most decorated kicker in Cougars history. A consensus All-American, he set or tied many NCAA conference and school records. He left Pullman as the Cougs career leader in points, PATs, field goals, and 50 yarders. A new Pac-10 record for Jason Hansen, and look at the celebration. In fact, his 57% rate from long range is still a conference record. No wonder the Lions were so interested before the 1992 draft. And Detroit came out to do a special workout with me. They had brought their player personnel director, they brought the special teams coach. And um, as I was doing my workout, there was this guy on the sideline just standing there. He was smoking a cigar and just, I don't know, who, I, I, this is terrible. I wasn't paying much attention. It was Wayne Fonts, it was the head coach. So if the head coach is there, I should have known that they were really, really interested. And sure enough, they, they took me in the second round. For the next two decades, Hanson made the Lions pick pay off. A two-time Pro Bowler, he proceeded to produce an NFL record 52 field goals from more than 50 yards. It's more just cold, calculated execution. Of course there's some uh, passion in it, but it's just that. It's just go out and get the job done or you didn't. And so that was interesting to adjust to that, you know, to sit there for 45 minutes and have to walk out there. And I don't want to over-dramatize it, but it is. It's totally different to be able to kind of just go out and execute a technique. Uh, where nobody said, man, he missed, but boy, was he pumped, or boy, he tried hard, you know, nobody cares. <laughs> did you do it? By the time he was done, he did it more than almost any other kicker in history. He left the league third on its all-time scoring list, third all-time with 495 field goals, and the first to play 300 games with the same franchise. We had a lot of family back out in the Spokane area, and they're all there, and we love it out there, and, um, but life's been happening here, and... Uh, that's for me has included the Lions, and so it's been, a, it's been a great relationship. Hansen still makes his home in the Detroit area. Now his passion includes sharing his faith as a speaker across his adopted city and state. And more than 2,000 miles away, he's humbled to be honored in his native Spokane. Visiting family and you see the, the soccer fields and things that you were doing stuff on to what happened with that, to playing for so long. Uh, not only going to Washington State, but making it here. and. I kind of crack up about it, you know, I was along for the ride and to go back to where it all started and the, and the, the community and the region where that was is, is really special. And to see the other names, the, the same journey that some of the people have been on and uh, they're already in the, in the Hall of Fame, it's, uh, I mean, it's flattering, it's really honoring, it's, it's great, it's, it's, it's real special, it's, it's, it's a ton of fun to, to think that this is happening. Mm -hmm.